Let's take a walk back in history. It was 1986 and women had gone to work in record numbers, but many of them struggled to find affordable, high quality childcare. Congress was clamoring for a child care bill. We started a process at the Children's Defense Fund that brought together a large national coalition of over 130 organizations that included children's groups, women's groups, labor unions, and many others. It was an extraordinary experience because in many respects, people working in childcare helped to deliver this bill. The bill did provide significant new funds to help parents pay for childcare, and it provided the first funding to help states improve the quality of childcare. In the 20 years since the Child Care and Development Block Grant Act was first authorized, the impact on families and children has been enormous. Child care is essential in the learning and development of millions of children. With support from the Child Care and Development Fund, states, territories, and tribes have invested in a wide range of innovations to increase access for working parents and improve the quality of child care. The creation of the Child Care Bureau in 1995 was a very important step forward and we had a single focal point at the federal level. It was a tremendous honor for me to serve as the first director of the Child Care Bureau. There was so much excitement across the country. We put the issue of child care on the map. For over 12 million kids each day, Child care is their early learning setting. That's the support where they are to reach their goals in school and later in life. And for millions of school-aged children, their after-school and summer programs are really the safe place they can go after school that can further support their learning and also engage them in a whole range of activities that turn them into well-rounded adults. Our scholarship assistance program, which now has been operating for 20 years, has served numbers and numbers of caregivers. Now it's become institutionalized with with state funds. Before CCDBG, there was not any child care. For the most part, across Indian country, CCDF allowed tribes to develop their own licensing standards and monitoring and training of child care providers. And that is very culturally responsive, which is critical in Indian country. Today, more than 60% of mothers with young children work outside the home. A primary goal of the Child Care and Development Fund is to expand access to affordable child care and to increase high quality child care options in every state, territory, and tribal community. Federal investments help low income working families choose high quality child care options that allow them to work or go to school. The Child Care and Development Block Grant has helped us in Illinois by allowing us to partner with our pre-K and Head Start programs. By providing full day, full year option, we've really been able to reach children of working parents and give them an opportunity for a good start in school. We were able to implement our quality rating improvement program. It's very important, particularly for our subsidized families, to be able to easily identify quality programs. If I didn't have the Child Care program, I wouldn't be able to afford daycare and I wouldn't be able to go to work. The child care subsidy program helps me because I'm a single parent and it's helping me so my daughter can be in daycare so I can start out in the world to further my education. Without federal child care investments, working families would struggle financially to be economically self-sufficient. We know the difference that this means in their lives. High quality child care supports children's capacity to develop and learn. It prepares them for school and for success later in life. By providing access to high quality child care, the Child Care Development Fund helps parents support their children's development and learning. Child care has been great for my son. He comes home all enthusiastic about projects that he's been working on every day, and it's clear to me that he's learning new things all the time. Every morning, Emily would ask me if it was time to go to daycare, and she would get just so excited and happy about seeing her friends, and, and she learned a lot during the day, not just letters and reading, but also social interaction. We meet the needs of children ages six weeks to 10 years old, so we need to make sure that we're meeting the needs of the whole child, whether it's physical, emotional, cognitive, physical environment, that in particular. 
The work that the child care community is doing has a significant impact on what happens when that child reaches the school doors. We want children to grow and to develop, and we want to do the best job that we can do. We do that better jointly. Some of the other benefits is that quality pays. It's not just good for the positive development of kids, it's a good business strategy to really invest in quality. Quality doesn't cost, quality pays. Across the country, states, territories, and tribes invest about a billion CCDF dollars a year in child care quality improvement. These investments support teacher training and quality improvement grants for both center-based programs and family child care homes. Even in the face of economic challenges, states, territories, and tribes continue to invest in quality improvement. Through the ARA funds, we have really invested a lot in professional uh, development. We have, in fact, put together a 70-hour training just on infant and toddlers. More than 50 providers have accessed these trainings because they want to learn. My children get fresh fruits and vegetables every day, and they take a healthy snack home. I've served them three meals a day plus a healthy snack. So without the subsidy program, this would not be affordable. I'm able to have partnerships with the Baltimore Zoo. I have a partnership with the library. The Child Care and Development Block Grant presented a real opportunity for child care resource and referral. By bringing in quality funds for child care, it allowed us to create a system by which child care providers, parents, and others who care for children had a place where they could come for training, for technical assistance, and for all kinds of supports to allow them to improve the way in which the providers care for children. I've learned how to interact with children. I've learned that children learn as they play. I've learned how to communicate with parents. It's taught me how to network with other providers. It gives me a different perspective on what I do in my program. The Office of Child Care is working across federal agencies and in partnership with state and local governments, national organizations, and researchers to ensure that children are healthy and strong and that parents have access to affordable and high-quality care for their children. We're very excited in the administration right now about the focus on child care, the fact that we were able to expand child care significantly through the recovery. It was a big message that if you want to recover as a nation, you also have to invest in child care and early education and after school. It's very exciting with all of the neuroscience and all of the research about the implications of the investments in young children and what that pays to our country in the long term as the return on investment. CCDBG has helped businesses making a difference for employers in Idaho. It assures that the parent knows that they're going to have child care for the month means that they can be confident that they can go to work and they have a place to leave their children that's safe. We we're at tables that we never thought we would be included to. We were just invited to the K-8 Institute at Harvard. We are at the business tables. We are at the education tables. We're at the mental health tables. This is one of those times when there's a perfect storm when we realize that early care and education is at the forefront and included in everything we do. You're limited really only by your vision and your ability to partner with others to make that vision a reality in your state. We've learned a tremendous amount about the lasting impact that high quality care can have on children's success. So moving forward, we know that quality has to take center stage in the Child Care and Development Fund. What I can really see as a vision for the future is a country in which every parent has several high quality choices for their child. We move forward to support both working families and healthy child development environments for children.